NJN News is made possible by PSENG, serving customers, strengthening the business community. A Rowan University scientist and his students are conducting a multi-year study of fiddler crab populations along the Delaware Bay. Their research is part of a broader effort to understand the impact of an invasive species of grass on salt marsh ecosystems. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Flooded at high tide and more or less dry at low, this bayside marsh was once diked and managed for the production of salt hay. Another native cord grass now flourishes here, but is being crowded by an invasive species called Phragmites australis. Following up on studies suggesting that the densely growing Phragmites provides a less productive habitat for some kinds of fish and birds, marine ecologist Michael Grove has been delving into life a bit lower on the food chain. The place is crawling with fiddler crabs. Grove chose this site in part for the ease of comparing crab habitat dominated by the native grass Spartina on the one hand and the invader Phragmites on the other. The main reason that fiddler crabs are important is that as they burrow down into the mud, they'll pull the mud from down deep and dump it up top outside of the burrow. So they end up essentially constantly turning over the top 12 inches or so of, of sediment in the marsh, of mud particularly. By doing so, they allow more oxygen from tidal flows to penetrate the mud. That, in turn, enables bacteria to process dead plant and animal material more efficiently, making more food available for all kinds of life. By some criteria, such as burrow size, measured in the lab from casts made in the field, neither grass habitat shows a clear advantage. But Grove and his students have found much less burrowing around Phragmites than around at least one form of Spartina. That, he says, could be a cause for concern. You're getting less oxygen into the mud. You're getting less bacterial breakdown of the dead material. So that's translating its way up the food chain. You're getting less nutrients released. That could potentially have importance to commercially important species, things like blue crabs or other fish species that are using the marsh. Patrick Regan, NJN News.